one giant wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel. Yo, we are privileged to have Jabby Koe come visit the channel. Yo, Jabby, tell the people what's going down. Hello, what's going on, everybody? We are watching season one, episode two um, of 1899, The Boy. Thanks for hanging with uh, Sintel and, and myself on Sintel's channel. If I look any brighter, <laughs> it's because I cranked up the brightness uh, and contrast on my monitor because the show is quite dark. Like yes, the name of his <laughs> the name of his previous show. <laughs> Um, oh, see, now look, we had an uncomfortable pause. Look at that. Pregnant pause. Listen. Oh, that's just, hey, because, you... that's just because of the power of the internet just dropping audio. I'm like, I have no idea what the last thing was said was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, well, luckily, we got some really talented editors, and they will make this uh, really quick and snappy. Hey, if this is your first time checking us out, make sure you click the link in the description below to catch episode one. It's tons of fun. So without any further ado, yo, let's get started. If you guys want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, because this is a cut down <laughs> version of the show that you're watching on if you're watching it on youtube head over to patreon.com slash jabby that's my patreon page or youtube.com slash get jabby you can become a member there it is a paid sus subscription but you'll get access to the entire reaction without cuts or interruptions but you'll need your own netflix subscription of course so you can open on, up that episode in an adjacent window to our reaction we give you a three to one countdown sync and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet bang bang easy peasy linen squeezy don't worry there will be a link in the description for that so any further ado let's get started who is this? This is our captain? Yeah, yeah he's not on a ship. Mm hmm. That's what you get from messing around with little boys you don't know anything about. What? <laughs> he was oh, messing with a little boy he found in a cabinet. Right, right, right. <laughs> and now he's in some mythical place. Right. Like messing around with Narnia kids. <sighs> oh. What the hell? I'm just happy to see bright colors. So that's how it closed. That has family closed out. Nita. Nita. Guys. Hey. That ah! fire was aggressive. Wake up. Oh, you see the pyramid in his eyes? Yeah. That was kind of cool. What do pyramids represent? Because like when I think of a pyramid, I think of either Egypt or I think of, I was wondering about that, or I think of the back of the dollar, the Masons. Well, yeah, that's the whole Illuminati thing, right? Yeah. You know. Das hier vor ein paar Minuten von der Rederei erhalten. You ever wake up and drink like that? I have not ever done never. that. Never. It's never been that bad of a situation for me. Das ist noch nicht alles. Ich habe sowas noch nie gesehen. The compass is all jacked up. Oh you know? no. Ich habe keine Ahnung warum, aber jeder Kompass an Bord macht das gleiche. Mm. I feel like they're like in the Bermuda Triangle or something. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. I thought they were on Shang Tsung's island. Warum haben sie nur diesen Dome gefunden? <laughs> that went over on you, huh? <laughs> A little bit, but still. <laughs> All black everything. When, when in Mortal, in 1996 Mortal Kombat, when mm -hmm. uh, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, and Sonya Blade arrive, Sonya mm -hmm. Blade's looking at her compass. And she's like, oh, something's wrong with my compass is broken. And Luke King is like, nothing's wrong with your compass. <laughs> that was a deep cut right there. Yeah. That's a deep reference. So that looks like the all spark. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like that with the texture on yeah, it and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I got Wedding the subtitles band. on and it says eerie quizzical music plays. <laughs> that kind of bugs me when the subtitles do that kind of stuff because I'm like, how does that help someone who's deaf? Like, what's their point of reference for that? None. <laughs> oh, and then the creepy wake up too. Do you reckon they're all dead? What can kill more than a thousand people? What normally kills people? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. He's smart. Or well, maybe wolves. How did wolves get on the ship? Fucking wolves. Do you know how many wolves it would take to kill that many people? Maybe one, one giant, giant wolf. wolf. <laughs> <laughs> the boy. Maybe he's the wolf. Wow. Oh, maybe he's the wolf. I don't even know where the fuck. Find out how many kronen are in the bunker lagered. And no word about it for anyone. Ah, yeah. Better find out how much clean water you got too, and food. Y'all gonna be there for a minute. 
she experienced it too. Mm-hmm. Do you hear that? I guess she's trying to keep her cards close to the chest as well. Yeah. Yeah, when the captain starts losing his marbles, everybody should be concerned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I mean, every the the all black dog is just jarring. Let din ånd lyse for os og vidne sammen med vår ånd, at vi din. Der skal selv mørke blive lys for os, når du er med os. Intet skade os. Okay, that wasn't a plant leaf that I thought. It was just a random design. Nothing is random in this show. Daniel. Daniel Solis. I'm your... Laura Franklin. Have we met before? Looks like somehow familiar. I don't think so. I'm your son from the future. I know. Right? You can't help but think that, right? Or, or I'm that little boy. Oh, yeah. That there. too. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I've brought you some food. Is the food black too? No. Well, black bread. <laughs> How hard do you think it is to find a kid that can look like that? Don't you want to tell me what Like happened? little Bo Peep? And just be that still. Because, you know, mm. it's his age running around. Like, rambunctious little fuckers. <laughs> He's so still. He hasn't even spoken yet, right? No. I guess everybody was just jacked back then. <laughs> God. Name Paul Rich. It don't matter. We yoked. Come to America. We all go visit my family. Let me get school and study. No, I did not. We really take our comforts for granted, dude. <laughs> So much easier to take a bathe now. When that dude touched my face. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It confused me. I thought I Something, knew myself. He's been awakened. <laughs> Nothing is the same anymore. Where's that closet at? <laughs> I gotta get back inside. <laughs> I don't like this. It is a hombre difficult to encontrar. The, the, uh, coming out of the closet back then was probably tremendously more complicated. Not not probably, oh, yeah. it was. Look, 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 look who shows up. Like y'all stranded in the middle of the ocean on some weird ghost stuff and this is what y'all thinking about? Dude, come on. When are you not thinking about sex? <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> Death around the corner, but I got show yeah. could get off right about now. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> if I felt like there was nothing else I could do, I'm like, hey, we might as well just, you know, bang this out. <laughs> I can't remember. Does that dude speak Spanish? Crester? I think so. Well, he's with the, the priest. Is that her? Is that his baby? No, they're brother and sister, I thought. No? I'm already getting confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> I don't know if they're brother and sister. Oh, is he a panda hunter? Is that the terminology? <laughs> wow. Yellow fever panda hunter. Lingy. Get y'all over here. Stop flirting. C'est une petite oiseau exotique. Vous parlez français? Un petit peu. Is she, what is she, like a madam or something? Like, now she's taking interest now that her girls took interest? Je me demande si vous êtes besoin de retourner qui serait intéressé par certaines distractions. Même si j'étais désespéré, je serais jamais désespéré à ce point-là. Dang. Je ne parle pas de moi. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, she's like a madam. The scratching tiger hidden dragon music is very interesting. <laughs> no, I can't unhear that. Mm. 
This sounds just like the music they used for the Michelle Yeoh um, Zhang Ziyi fight. Mm. War hero. And he put it right next to the another uh, pyramid. Oh man. Oh yeah, you get caught. You, oh, that's definitely death. Oh. What? Why would he leave that there? I guess he's trying to send a message to the dude. Or to her. Well, she dismissed it. She I, didn't ponder it or nothing. Just I know that's what I was, know, that's what's confusing another me. trinket. I mean, my first assumption was that Lamar likes her. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jerome, I, man. I know. Jerome. <laughs> I know. Dude, you cannot sneak around the ship <laughs> being the only black man in the entire Atlantic Ocean. Uh -oh. Dang, they think she did. She did them all in. Lick a bottle in the pistol. One for one. That gun keeps showing up. Yeah. I want to know how we got those scratches. Like a propeller or something? What is the point of that shot if you're not revealing something? Oh, there, there we, go. we go. Nina? So, it's safe to say that the ship is probably evil, the one that they boarded and... I think, he's just, I think he's just crazy. Mm. I think he's Did just he show he, he show bits of being a little, you know, off before he hopped on the ship? Yeah. No, but I think he's just haunted by the ghosts of of his past, you know? Mm. Like he's got trauma. No. <laughs> Random doors and voices. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, what? Frozen like That's a picture. That's the hairband. It was in his daughter's hair. Okay. Oh, they're aware that he's here? Oh, that's even creepier. I mean, she's not even acknowledging his emotional state. This must be a memory. I don't know, man. I think he's physically there. Like, physically in the memory. I think you're right, but I think he is physically there, though. Du bist nicht echt. Warum sagst du sowas? Oh. Sie mag's nicht, wenn du weg bist. Dann kommen immer die Schatten. Aber ich hab ihr gesagt, man kann niemand, der das Meer liebt, ans Land binden. Und gehen lassen. Und wenn man Glück hat, dann schwimmt die nächste Blut ihn wieder an deine. So she was what? She was either sick in the head or just grief stricken? Well, I'm just wondering if there's an element of like inception here because you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, his wife was crazy and, ki and killed herself. Nice. Uh, no. nice. Oh shit, is he still on that ship? I think he's on the haunted ship. Yeah. She was talking about the mama, though, right? That that, that's what I thought she was talking about, was the mom has having bad dreams or something like that. And so she's... Something about her not being able to deal with reality. And that's what made me think of Inception. Oh, no, I don't think she's on the ship. He's in the burned-out husk of the house. Was that a, uh, a beetle? What the hell? What? What? Yeah, man, that's weird. And it looks like a prism, right? Like those Pink Floyd albums where the light comes in and is broken down into its elements, into the color spectrum. You see the pr on the uh, wood plank that he pushed up? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a the thing like the 
Pink Floyd thing, but it wasn't. It was well, it's still a pyramid, triangle. just like the little AllSpark thing. Oh, same symbol. Oh, no. Dang. Mm, don't touch. Same symbol. Ike, where's the boy? Dang. What's wrong with that ship? Tell me! Stop it! I need to know! Get off him! Get off <laughs> Wow. I think you need to calm down. You're not thinking straight. This <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Showing up like a New York flasher. <laughs> with his trench coat. Hey there, baby. <laughs> You're not Irish. No, it's not. I'm Scottish. Dang, he looked at him like, ah, mm -hmm. you can't get me. If I so, this problem. when you see birds like that in the ocean, doesn't that typically mean you're close to land? Um, yeah, or you're looking at crazy birds. Faut être de l'équipage. Vous en avez pas l'air. On dit toujours qu'il faut se méfier des apparences. Triangles. Pourtant, c'est impossible, uh, non? With that line in it, with the same line through it. Oh, you're right. I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. clock that. She got the spider on her neck. Also, that's weird. Oh. Maybe his soul is. Uh, maybe he's born again. Jerome. Hmm. Well, maybe that metal is to jog her memory. It's mad as hell. But at least we know, you know, when he went in that room, Lamar was intending to get her attention. Hey! See, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. I'm like, he's just perusing around. Like, you stand out, my guy. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Oh, terrible. Dang, he's taking all of them out. That's what I'm saying. It's four of y'all. Oh. Well, you got your wish. <laughs> I mean, he was just walking around. Yeah, so I was like, like, Yo, like nobody see this? Like, <laughs> I'm just hollering at you. Peace. <laughs> Somebody was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn, you asked too many questions. Back off. He must have a history. He must have a history with this kind of thing. Because she's got a real issue with how he's acting. You know, frantizing above your station. Yep. <laughs> Wisdom. Mm. Whatever mistake he made is probably showing on his face, too. He's probably living whatever that mistake is. That's true. <laughs> is he actually a priest? Hey! Maybe not. How did you even get out from under the under the thing? <laughs> yeah, do you go back down in that? <laughs> it's different, right? It didn't have that black tile last time, right? I can't remember. He didn't have a lamp last time, so I don't know if we could have seen that. Yeah, I don't think he had they had that tile. I think the tile is new. Oh, 
Zurück auf Kurs. Wir müssen noch ein bisschen Kohle von dem anderen Schiff holen. Wie hat es nicht ein Mutant an diesem Punkt gegeben? Ihr seid einfach in den Ozean hängen, ohne eine Erklärung. Ich glaube, die anderen Crews haben es geplant, oder? Ich glaube, sie haben etwas gesagt, dass sie you nicht know, cool mit der Situation sind. Ja. Ich glaube, sie haben es gesagt, dass sie nicht mehr cool sind. First one that's going out the boat is that kid. Two hands, chuck him off. <clears throat> I'm looking for someone. My brother, but I know that he's not dead. Because I think he sent me this. It looks exactly like the sign on your neck. Mm. You have that? What happened on the Prometheus? Oh, this is trying my patience a little bit. I, someone say something. I need, I need an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. And give up something. Everyone, please assemble in the dining room. Try to get some sleep. Do you think a bellhop would use profanity like that back then? Well, I mean, I, give, I guess because of the circumstances are so dire, you're like, F it, they're not really paying <laughs> me enough for this anymore. <laughs> I'm going to do my job, but I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> ¿De qué tienes tanto miedo? Tengo miedo de que lo descubran. ¿De que descubran el qué? There we go. Yeah. That's what I was suspecting. Neither. Were they lovers? Uh, I was wondering about Portuguese. Uh, as far as that Netflix conversation goes, because um, there's a cool show called 3% that I think mm. was set in Brazil. A la gente, no te importa, no te importo yo, no te importo la puta persona. They're gonna have angry sex now? Is it rage sex? <laughs> so you look jealous? Yeah, they were, they were probably like lovers or something. There we there go. We go. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting nailed for it. Nailed it, you nailed yeah. it. Wow, they're just going for it. Rah! <laughs> Shut up, you bitch. Ah, give me this. Ah. Oh. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, that's storytelling right there. All right. So he was a servant. At least we know that. Can you do a scene like this if the, if the job called for it? Uh, I, it's not my comfort zone. Uh, that'd probably be a hard pass for me. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't knock anybody that does, though. You know, you have to do what you're comfortable with. And the magic beetle again. The the door opening. Look, look, you see the symbol on the rug? Yeah. The symbol was on the rug, yeah. I wonder how they got the beetle to do that. Oh, it's CGI. Okay. It has to be, right? There's no way you can consistently train a beetle to be that precise. Oh, no. Is it going to step on it? I'm so sorry. Oh. Kid tossing. What? Said I'm sorry, and then she gulped. I've decided to turn the ship around and tow the Prometheus back to Europe. Well, I'd say 1,611 of those are against your decision to turn the ship around. Maybe you're the captain, but you cannot make choices against everyone else's interests. <laughs> what a creepo. <laughs> Guy. Right? I've made my decision. Man, he got the creepy look. He never minded that that threat. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it if you want. <laughs> she gonna see that little girl? Nope. Okay. What does the Prometheus have to do with my family? Sounds like a promise, right? I'm like I'll get your family back if you lose the ship. But I need to find out what happened. Back. Hmm. So many people do not want to go back to Europe. What is wrong with Europe? Ev everybody's running from it, right? But I'm turning the ship around. 
Can't you compromise, maybe take the ship halfway to the destination and... I don't think he understands the consequences of his decision. A ship with this many passengers? He didn't look too keen to go back either. This dude does not... Does not look first class. <laughs> his outfit. Warum will he die Prometheus zurückschleppen? Vielleicht sollten wir es einfach machen. Was machen? Das Schiff versenken. Oh, I thought he was going to say mutiny at first. Uh-oh. Oh, triangle, triangle, uh, triangle. More triangles. It's like a neither world version of zeros and ones, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Oh. Uh. It's everywhere. I just realized, because there was like some Christian overtones, sort of a triangle symbolization in that as well. Yeah. The uh, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Is that the same girl, lady? Yes, yes. No. I don't want to see no dead little girl. Well, they're all gathered there. I mean... Damn. Damn. Uh. Dang, eyes wide open too. Ugh. Just towing death behind you. Well, we don't know if she's dead yet, though. It's not 100% confirmed. Uh, it looks uh, like oh, it. Oh, look at the pixelation. Look at the pixelation on the screen. Look. And we're in a different time period now. That just got crazy weird. So we're definitely not in 1899 anymore with that sh with that last shot. <laughs> that was a weird wrench. And then not only was it a weird wrench, it's different views. So there's like cameras looking at all these different people. Like that's, well, you wanted something to get spiced up a little bit, some explanation and they just throw more questions at you. <laughs> this is, this is like right on task. This is like right on par, right? This is what he did in this in dark. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. If I was watching this by myself, I'd have the speed controller on. Just out, <laughs> just just out of frustration, dude, just cuz I'm like I just need to get to the answer a little faster. <laughs> you know, slow burn is back there. Like this is it's really taking its time with revealing stuff and I'm like Yo, I just need a few more answers as we go, like, <laughs> so I can level up. This feels like Dark Souls. Or so. It's like, we're just going to hit you with everything at, at expert level. There is no <laughs> beginners. You know, it's like that, that first level, that first fight in God of War, when mm -hmm. you fight, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Balder or something like that. I forgot his name. Mm -hmm. It just hits you hard. Like, there is no walking into this it's like you know we're, you're coming we're coming in hot like right away with and, and, but in this instance it's just like it's a lot of heady heady mystery and no answers are happening at all it's just more 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 questions and they're just stacking and i'm like okay all right all right all right all right <laughs> I, I was getting yeah. I, I was finding myself just a little frustrated that's all i mean i mean i'm entertained but i'm frustrated mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Is that resonating? No, no, it, it does. You know, the, the feeling I get, have you ever been to a, to an escape room before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and an escape room is like when you get in there and everything that you need to do in order to do, to get out is there. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do it piece by piece in, in order and you just look at just the madness that's in front of you, it's frustrating. It's like, I got to do all this just to get out of this box. Yeah. And that's how this show feels. It's all of these little bits and pieces of things that are just all over the place. And we haven't gotten a list of instructions to break down like, you know, okay, now pay attention to this and this leads to this and this. So, so all we just see is the madness. So now we just got a whole new thing in my escape box that I have no earthly idea even how to remotely connect any of these dots in any capacity whatsoever it's no nothing satisfies an itch it's just more scratching i mean it's just it's just more little bumps ah, more itching. you know it's one little it's one little thing at first and each episode is more new ones and there's and they're like but don't you scratch it then i'm not going to satisfy none of this we're just going to give you more bumps that sounded really disgusting yeah i know i, get <laughs> I know I, I, I get what you're saying i get what you're saying so but uh, the the ending shot is very 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 reminiscent of the Matrix when when Neo is inside of the uh, interrogation room, and then we revisit that shot 
in Matrix Reloaded, and we realize that the architect is looking at all these TV screens, which is basically mm. the Matrix, um, and he's you know overseeing all that shit. There's something larger at play, and um, someone's in control of this. It's like a game in a way. I don't know, man. Like I don't want to guess anything. <laughs> I can't. Um, but I do feel frustrated. <laughs> I think the reason I feel frustrated is because sometimes I get the sense that this is being elongated unnecessarily. Like, okay. does it need to be... How many episodes is this? Eight. Does it need to be eight? Can it be four? <laughs> <laughs> I <feel> like... <laughs> I, a quick three and out. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like this. you could make a super cut of this and it'll still make just as much sense and be just as compelling. But I'm saying this having just watched episode two. So, okay. I mean, I have to get through all eight episodes to determine that. But I have a feeling, a sneaking suspicion, I'm going to get to episode eight and be mad as fuck because I'm not going to get <laughs> all the answers that I want. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of haste. And hardly anything. I think the only, the, except for the one little fight scene that we saw, and everything the, and, the, and the rage sex, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and the, sex. And, and the yeah. angered sex, the fake priest sex, yeah, um, which is a whole other probably story within itself too. I know we've talked, oh my god, at length about how like shooting styles have changed. There's a lot, a lot of shorter cuts, right? And so stuff is just mm, 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 it's this TikTok generation. Mm, give me all that stuff. The pace is already slow, and then the shots are really long too. Like they, it's just it feels like this could have been like made. In like the the mid '90s or something like that, you know, feels or like anything anything similar. before the age of the internet. Yeah, or before and Michael Bay. Before Michael Bay. <laughs> I wonder if if we were the hot tub time machine back into like '95 or whatever it was, or or 2000, you know, and we watched this, would we be would the pace be as big of an issue? You know, is is are we just like you know products of of this new age style of of viewing content? Like I'm wondering, is is it us the problem or is it the the art? The, that's the problem. That's an interesting question. I think they'd enjoy the shit out of it uh, in the mid '90s. I think. Well, obviously, people are enjoying it, qu you know, quite a bit now. It's the number one show yeah. on Netflix. Well, you told me that in the previous recording, and so Lost kind of had this quality. You know, it's a very J.J. Abrams sort of thing where it keeps giving you lots of questions. But when I watch a J.J. Abrams thing, I have never seen a show of his. I've only seen mm -hmm. his movies, and so when I watch his movies, I'm generally getting my answers within two hours. I'm getting really good answers you know <laughs> so i know what happened two hours in i still have so many questions and i'm very very i'm feeling very lost and so it's making me feel frustrated because i'm not used to this feeling whereas there were lots of people who watched like five six seasons of lost or whatever it was and didn't get really any answers until the very end and they were angry about it and so <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man, um, but it's definitely compelling because I want to know. But like the only reason I'm watching it at the pace I am is because I'm watching this with you in the audience. But mm -hmm. if I'm by myself, I'm putting this at 1.5 easily. I'm like, I, I will still enjoy it all. I'll enjoy it more, <laughs> you know, yeah. 1.5 yeah. at the very least, like 1.3. There's a Google Chrome uh, extension that you can get that's called Speed Controller. That's what I'm referring to, by the way. Yeah. Netflix yeah, has it built. Netflix has it built in too, though. You, I was just about to say that. Yeah. yeah. So if, if there was a way to kind of like pick up the pace, so you can kind of get going. Um, I guess my last thing that, that I'll bring up is just uh, the relationship building. Got a chance to see Jerome and his little new lady. She, he left like a little medallion or whatever it was. We got to see the relationship with the captain, Ike. I think that's his name and his mystery box bedroom that seems to be morphing and changing into totally different things. And then like maybe a weird kind of relationship between um, what's her name, Mara and her next door, new next door neighbor that drug himself out the sea and nobody seems to notice the new guy. But uh, him and maybe the little boy next who, door. Who was in the room before the new guy showed up? I don't he know. dropped a bug in there yeah. and the door unlocked. unlocked the door. Yeah. And so there's some kind of magical quality to this bug where it lures yeah. people because it lured the little girl to him and it, it lured him, it lured the, uh, the person to open up that door so he can get in there and get in there and kill the original tenant of that room. I don't know. Yeah, that's what we're assuming, right? Because everywhere the bug, well, because the bug led the little girl to him, we're assuming that's what the, the bug of death, you know, if you follow the bug then the dude shows up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for the ride. And at this point, I'm just like, it's going to be the payoff. We're getting closer to uh, episode three. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Is there anything else you need to add real quick? I guess I'm just like, I just wish that I got more answers than I did. As I just, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but it's like, okay, I, I, you, you, you gave me 54 minutes of content just now. So how much further did we get than we were at the beginning? You know what I mean? Like, okay, so what's changed? We found out 
that the Spanish guys are not brothers. We got confirmation right. that they're not brothers, that they're like they're some lovers. kind of lovers, and that the the guy who was supposedly his brother is not a priest. Right. Uh, Scars on the other dude's back, which implies something else. I have no idea. I, that to me implies some kind of masochism. Sadis is a ma like they, he's into. I don't know. He's into something that's just dark and bad. But maybe they were both slaves. That's what I'm thinking too. Oh, you know, both of them are slaves running around. Like, and we just got a chance to see the results of what that servitude leaves, and they're and they're escaping. Now. I wasn't that's thinking that. I, that my brain yeah. went to somewhere like S and M. Oh, some some kinky it's, some kinky it's, it's, stuff. Yeah, sadism <laughs> and like this nice little I thought that's what that was. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it could be. I mean, like we're we just shooting in the dark right yeah. now. <laughs> the ending shot is what has you. Uh, you know, it's that's. What has you asking the most questions and trying to make sense of everything else that happened in the show. Yeah. And like very easily we could just go into the next episode instead of like doing this thing right here that we're doing now. Yeah. I keep having to stop myself from trying to explore this too hard because I'm like, we should just watch the next episode <laughs> and see where that gets us. <laughs> because I keep trying to make guesses off of this. I'm like, so who's in control now? You like, why are they doing this? So, okay, there's a, there's, uh, there's a movie called The 13th Floor. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, long time ago. Um, yeah. There's all in the in the late '90s. You had a chunk of these movies, like you had the Truman Show, you had the Matrix, you had the Thirteenth Floor, and they were all dealing with something similar. Because I think that we all had this question in our mind of what if we're in our own movie and don't realize it. And the Truman Show really explored that. And so the Thirteenth Floor was something similar, where it was like a computer within a computer, where you know he, they were being observed, and like this guy was living in a simulation of some kind and didn't realize it. Oh, another one is uh, Dark City, I think. Dark City. Wow. Okay. I I, I barely remember that one. Yeah. Go ahead. But that's it's in the same vein. It's like it's you're yeah. inside of this. You're essentially inside of a simulation mm -hmm. and trying to figure your way out and trying to get out of the simulation. Matrix, he's getting out of the Matrix. 13th floor, he's trying to up level. All that stuff, same thing, right? I feel like something like that might be coming here. And then we have a show from HBO, the uh, Westworld. Yes. You know? And so it might be something like that where... Oh, yeah. And there's a new one right now, Peripheral. It's kind of like that too as well. Make it, made by the creators of Westworld. Same thing. Yeah, where you're like, what's the real? What's not? Mm -hmm. What's what's Especially dealing with time as well. Uh, you know, there, I'm doing a peripheral review, so please check that out if you want to get in deep with it. But here's the thing. like when We're talking about dealing with time. When it came to the the televisions that we get pulled out to, those, they're old school like CRTs, cathode ray tubes. At least because that's what produces like those little, that, that type of image right that with the jagged lines yeah like like our normal plasmas don't really do that they're, they're dot matrices that do you know you see what i'm saying like they're pixels i mean yes but i don't think i, I think that's just a detail then it's just a, a a preference that they like because it's it has an old school feel to it and it well it, it's, it's like inspired by the matrix it's yeah but the tvs were square when was the last time you've seen a square monitor or a square tv anywhere with the con the, the architect used that in the matrix yeah but the architect was that movie was made back when crts were still a big thing like today's standard you don't see square televisions anymore anywhere no I don't, you're, not, I'm, you're not wrong i'm i'm, throwing, I, I'm, I'm just throwing yeah, rocks not, man i'm trying to you, <laughs> see what sticks to the you're wall you're not wrong but my 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 assumption is like okay so y you know you there's a lot of ways that this can go but okay. my first assumption is that this is a computer simulation of some kind because that person whoever's watching he's got cameras on everybody's faces either everyone's inside of a fucking tv show and they somehow don't realize it or it, they're inside of a computer I think you're right. And that's why the, the the black dude dropped the war medal as a way to maybe help jog her memory because they're just stuck into this believable space. Mm -hmm. Well, I, well it, it can't be real because the captain's room is obvious enough for that. You know, like he's got an ever changing mystery box room every time he goes down. You can walk around. It's like you know playing a video game. For, for I was about to say video game too. I was I was about yeah. to say maybe they're stuck in a video game of some kind. But like who knows? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just All have right. to keep watching to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just gives you all no yeah. reason to hang out with us uh, to catch uh, episode three. If you need to catch up with some of the previous episodes, there'll be a link in the description for that. And of course, if you want to see this in a better and more intriguing way, Jabby has a way to uh, give you that type of information. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing with us with no cuts or interruptions. You can see my frustrated look. <laughs> more right. <laughs> extended edition <laughs> of confusion will be a patreon.com patreon.com slash jabby or or uh, youtube.com slash get jabby and you can join the memberships there on get jabby to watch the whole thing with us no cuts or interruptions like i said 
So yeah. Hey, don't worry if you can catch all that. There'll be a link in the description for all that. Make it easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And of course, if you do want to support the channel, check out some of the merch. Super, super cheap stickers that look absolutely incredible. Even if you want to just donate a couple of bucks, it goes a long way. And there is other merch like shirts and long sleeve shirts as well. Check it out. There'll be a link just underneath the video. Hey, this is Cinto with Intel. You have been watching with Jeffy Koei. Thank you for your time. Hit that subscription button. And of course, give us a thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. We're out of here. Catch you on episode three. Peace. Peace.